In this first tense footage, a man is pulled over by a female police officer for identifications. The man insists on knowing the reason why he needs to provide his identity without having broken any laws. This situation escalates into a serious argument between the man and the police officer. Are you wrong? I would like to identify I you. I don't have to. I have not committed yes, a crime. I, what was my crime? Please tell me the charge that I committed. Charge the 214. Can you come to my 20? Please tell me the crime that I committed. Please tell me what crime I committed. Or what your charge you was granted. So crime. then I do not have to in, give you my ID or identify myself because I have not yes, committed a crime. No, no, I do not. I have not committed a crime and I am not under arrest. It states it in the law. And, and, you're, and you're, you're not even receptive. The fact is that you're pulling me over to have a conversation and now you're having your sergeant come out because I won't identify myself for your safety. But obviously if you had a concern for your safety, you would be either holding me a point or you wouldn't have approached my window. You would have backed up and went to your vehicle by now and waited for your supervisor if you were really that concerned for your safety. So explain to me how it is that you're still concerned for your safety if you're still standing here having a conversation with me. Okay, ma'am, I'm recording for my own safety. The speed limit is 65. I was going 66, and you're on my ass, and then you tailgate me, and then you go faster than me. You're an officer of the law. The speed limit states that it's 65, so you are not allowed to go past that speed limit, period. What makes you think that just because you're an officer that you can go... What did I do wrong? I would like to identify... I do not have to. I have not committed a crime. I, what was my crime? Please tell me the charge that I committed. Charge, the 214. Can you come to my 20? Please tell me the crime that I committed. I wanted to have a proper conversation with you to let you know that I can't catch people that are doing 80. Where does it state in the law that you're allowed to go over the speed limit unless it's an emergency? Please tell me the NRS code that states that or the DMV codes and traffic laws that state that you can do that. Okay, but look. No, please state that to me. I'm, a, I'm a invoking my Fifth Amendment right. Do you know what my Fifth Amendment right is? No, I don't. Tell me. Okay, you're an officer of the law. Fifth Amendment right states that when I invoke that, whatever charge or crime you're committing me of, you have to go ahead and state that and show it to me therein. Okay. So please tell me the NRS code that states that you're allowed to go faster than 65 unless it is an emergency. I'm trying to enforce public safety because my radar was flashing 75, 78, 79. So somebody up there is speeding. And nine times out of ten, when they're speeding, they're making unsafe lane changes, right? Okay, you were way behind me, ma'am. I saw you long ago, and you came really quick up all on me. And maybe, you, maybe because you were doing my police control okay, set at seven. Ma'am, I have a breathalyzer. Okay, it records everything. Okay, so it records my speed. I stay at 65. I use my cruise control. Okay, so I'm glad that you do your speed limit and all that, but I'm just trying to let you know that my radar is flashing 78. Okay. So again, you ask, tell me, no, please. You can get me from 147. Please tell me what crime I committed, or what your charge you was granted. Any so then I do not have to in, give you my ID or identify myself because I have not yes, committed a crime. No, I because I have not yes, committed a crime. No, I no, I do not. I have not committed a crime, and I am not under arrest. It states it in the law. It's my constitutional right. For my right. safety, if I asked you, first off, I just wanted to have a conversation with you, okay. letting you know. Instead of having a conversation at 65 mile an hour, mm -hmm. that my radar was flashing, I was trying to catch somebody up there, right? Okay? That's my God-given right to protect the safety of the community. When somebody's doing 80 up there, they're normally zigzagging out of traffic. That makes it unsafe for a 92-year-old grandma. And I don't like that because my mother drives these roads, okay? And if I can't get around you, because there was a silver vehicle over here in front of me in the uh, HOV lane. Because they were going the speed limit. Perhaps. Right, but, so. So if someone was going 70 and your radar was going off, they obviously would have went past me and you would have been able to see that. But you were behind me for quite a bit. So please explain to me how it is that if your radar went off past 70 and no one's passing me, that you detected that. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just detected my radar detected. That's okay, fine. Your equipment, your radar device. Are you on paper? Am I on paper? Yeah. As far as what? Parole or probation? Uh -huh. I do not have to identify myself. I don't. I have not committed a crime. I don't think you have any Fourth Amendment rights if you're on paper. 
I don't have to disclose anything. And if you really want to go down that road, no, I'm not on probation or parole. Just to satisfy your need to go ahead and pry information from me. I have the right to drive on public roadways in the U.S. without any infringement upon me yeah, or a papers see, this check. Is, this is, I just wanted to have a conversation with and you. And I'm just letting you know that you're an officer of the law and you're supposed to uphold it. So you shouldn't be speeding or tailgating. If I tailgated you, you would have pulled me over immediately. But you had no idea what I was doing. If you really had an emergency, the second you got around me, you would have took off to go get that person. But you didn't. No, because I felt like I, I owed you an explanation. Okay, what's more important, giving me an explanation or protecting the roads and safety as you're so stating you're trying to uphold? Oh, by the way, Van Ellen. That, that's fine. And my P number is 483, for the record. No, that's fine. We're just waiting on Sergeant. No, that's fine. Sergeant can come out. Not a problem. So he can uh, give you some further education. As further well. education, ma'am. I've been researching law and all the rights that I have. And the thing is, is that officers don't like it when and people is, know the this law. Is, this is the tragedy. Because I just wanted to have, give you an explanation rather than to do it at 65 mile an hour. Then that was I your choice to, to do it. And, and, you're, and you're, you're not even receptive. The fact is that you're pulling me over to have a conversation and now you're having your sergeant come out because I won't identify myself for your safety. But obviously, if you had a concern for your safety, you would be either holding me at gunpoint or you wouldn't have approached my window. You would have backed up and went to your vehicle by now and waited for your supervisor if you were really that concerned for your safety. So explain to me how it is that you're still concerned for your safety if you're still standing there having a conversation with me. And I'm being very eloquent. I'm not cursing. I'm not being rude. I'm just stating my right. Hello, Sergeant Kelly. How are you doing today? I've been better. I'm a little bit uh, upset at the fact that your officer is stating the claims that she's stating. It's very unprofessional and upsetting that an officer of the law can't give me the NRS code that apparently I'm violating, but then she tells me I have not committed a crime or a charge, so I do not have to identify myself, and if she really felt that concerned for her safety, she would have stepped away from my window, and she would have backed up and waited until you, her supervisor, came to assess the situation. Obviously, she's still standing there having a full conversation with me for eight minutes. She obviously does not have a concern for her safety. She just wants to do a papers check, because I know when you run the ID, it goes into the database, and it shows that I had an interaction with law enforcement, and I'm not having that on my record, so I do not have to declare my identity, because I have not committed a crime. I'm not under arrest. Okay. You, you're, you're, uh, you're not under arrest at the moment, but you were detained? She never okay. stated that, officer. All right. Anytime, that, uh, anytime an emergency vehicle stops you, you are detained, okay? Just so you know, all right? You may not be under arrest, but you are detained at that moment. But I still do not have to present my ID. I still do not have to present my ID. Technically, by law, you don't have to present your ID. Thank you but, for stating that. But by law, you do have to provide your name. No, I do not. Okay, I'm not that's preventing argue. identity. That, that, okay. That's giving it. I'm not going to argue with you. After speaking with her, you're free to go at the moment. Okay. But for future reference, you do have to state your name. Okay, and for future reference, you need to advise your officer that just because she's a law enforcement official, if I had tailgated her the way she tailgated me, you guys would have pulled me over in a heartbeat. I'm not going to okay. argue. I wasn't there. I didn't see that. Okay. Uh, after speaking with her, you're free okay. to go. Okay, can I have your badge number, please? Uh, 214. Okay. I'll be making a formal complaint since you do not want to go ahead and reprimand your officer for the fact that she was driving unsafely. What I do with my officer is a personnel matter, which is not public record, just so you know. And All like right. I said, I will go to your superiors, but thank you. I know I'm free to go. I'm just stating for the record that I will be making a formal complaint because you refuse to go ahead and let your officer know that she does not have the authority to tailgate or to speed unless it is an emergency. Okay, I'm not going to debate any of that. With That's you. fine. I'll go on my merry way. You have a nice day, officer. Use the shoulder here to get up to speed. Merge over my square. Just be careful, okay? Yep. In this concerning scenario, a police officer is seen approaching a man who is carrying a weapon in public, which is unlawful. The officer likely intervenes to address the potential threat and ensure public safety. You got a body camera on? There's no body cam on you at all. Is there a dash cam on your car? No, sir. I don't want to talk to you. Okay, I got back in Okay. Do they have body cams? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to try to talk to them because my life ain't safe with you right now. Really? It's not. Okay. It's not. Okay. Not unless you have body cam, because somehow, some way, footage gets deleted, and I don't want that. Well, you got a, you got a camera up there. I do, but right. I do, but sometimes these get deleted too. Okay. So I. Step just off the roadway, just a little. I don't want to step on their property unless you got written consent that I'm allowed right here from them. You're allowed right here. You got me on video. You're allowed right here. I'm, I'm fine where I'm at, brother. Really? I'm fine. Honestly, I, I don't, cause I don't want to hear their mouth. I know hearsay is inadmissible, but I don't want to hear it. So, I'm out of the roadway. I'm fine. Can I have your name? Lieutenant Handy. Lieutenant Handy. Yes, sir. Thank you. Badge number? We don't have badge numbers. I got an employee number. 
Can I have that number? Thank you. What's going on there? I, Y'all from here? I, I didn't call, so I don't know what's going on. I'm just out here enjoying the sun, brother. I'm assuming there's a crowd of people here call. Y'all might want to go talk to them. I think we should go talk to them, honestly, because I didn't call you. Little do they know, this auditor is well-versed in the law. With finesse, he educates them on his rights. How we doing, fellas? What are we talking about today? Can I have everybody's name here? Okay. I can't hear you. Thank you. Where's the other one? There he is. You insist on standing behind me. Nice to meet you. They called y'all. Yes, sir. They did. What's this about here? Because you're going armed and terrorizing people. I'm terrorizing people? Yeah. Showing up armed in a parking lot. That's funny, right? No. Come on, it's funny. Yeah, that's funny. Come on, laugh. That's funny, right? Come on, laugh with me. That's funny. It is what it is. I know it, man. Well, they're standing right down there if I want to go talk to them. That's right around me. can't go down there. Oh, Y'all got jurisdiction there. I didn't call. Oh, I understand. So I, don't, I just don't understand. So are you parked somewhere? Are you, are you trying to identify me by running my tag? Just answer the question. If it's yes, just say yes. So, so carrying a rifle on the street or highway, right, is a crime. It's going armed to the dare of the people. Really? It is. It, it's it, a misdemeanor crime. Does that go against the Second Amendment that says I'm allowed to open carry in a public uh, assessment area? Because I did the G I did the land guide survey. I know I'm on public property. I stay I stay well within the easement. So public property is your going armed to the dare of the people. Uh, that is a misdemeanor crime. Because I'm. A, this is a Second Amendment protected activity. I'm, a I'm an open carry. I'm the biggest Second Amendment. Oh yeah, it's okay. It's open <laughs> carry, right? It is. Is this open? But a rifle. Is this open? It is, but a rifle. Is this open? But a rifle is going off the dare of the That's open carry. I've already did, I've checked every state law. I've checked city. I've checked statutes. I've checked city ordinances. Nothing against long carry of open rifles unless I have to be 18 and legally able to possess this firearm, which I'm both. I'm not a felon. I'm not a convicted felon unless you suspect me of being one. Didn't y'all suspect me of being a felon? There's no crime being committed. In this intense scenario, a serious argument unfolds between a woman and a police officer. The woman claims to be exercising her rights, leading to a heated exchange with the officer. So Sorry, I can't hear you. Is that a law? Yes, it is, ma'am. What law is that? I just signed my disclosure order. It's a federal law. Do you have an ID on you? Why do I need an ID? Are you a law enforcement officer? Yes, what do I look like? You look like a security guard. Oh, okay. Is that what you think? All right, I'll have the police right here. Stay right here. Oh, is that an order? Hello, sir. Hey. I'm just doing some recording. May I please get your name and badge number? Yep, my name is Officer Weiss, badge number 136. Thank you. Because I, I need to dispel my concern about what you're doing here. Why am I being detained, sir? Suspicious activity. He cannot okay. be used. You and I are going to go around in a circle, No, 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 okay? sir. Please let me Could finish. Could I have your ID? I don't have an ID. You don't have an ID? No. Okay. Can you May give I... me your name? No. You're not going to give me your name? No, because photography cannot be used Are at... you from around here? Sir. Yep. I've been walking down the sidewalk, sir. Come over here. We're going to the I don't want to trespass, sir. No, you're with a police officer. I don't want to trespass. Okay. So you're gonna make you're gonna make my life hard if I have to hold the book up here, huh? Sir, it was a joke. You, you just threatened me with criminal trespass. I I, I do not want. Oh, this is the national dispatch. It wasn't a threat. I don't I don't threat. I'm just stating what the lie is. Person is guilty of criminal so trespass if, if knowing that she is not licensed or privileged to do so, he enters and remains in any place. Uh, criminal for, trespass is a misdemeanor uh, for, for the offense if the person only or actually causes damage, which that's not what you're doing here. Criminal trespass is a misdemeanor if the trespass takes place in an occupied structure as defined in RSA 631-1-3, or the person only enters or remains in any secure premise in any place in defiance of an order to leave or not to enter, which was personally communicated to him by the owner of the authorized persons, or in any place in defiance of any court order uh, restraining him from entering such place so as long as he has been properly notified of such order. All other criminal trespasses a violation. In this section, secure premise means any place which is which is posted in a manner prescribed by law or in a manner reasonably likely to come to the attention of intruders, or which is fenced or otherwise enclosed in a manner des designed to exclude intruders. Okay. Okay. It's posted. 
on a fence. It says U.S. government property, no trespass. Do you know? So, in accordance to 635-2, criminal trespass, uh, you, you, it, it's a secure premise, okay? In violation yes. of the order, which is pass, clearly posted. Pass the public easement. Do you know what the public easement is? Because I do. What is it? Yep. So from the center of the road, it's 25 feet. Do you want to measure? So you're telling me that beyond that sidewalk, up to the fence is not their property. I am telling you that from the center of this road, if you measure 25 feet, that yep. is the public easement. Okay. And that's what that's we're going to find out where their property lines begin. Okay, and if you wanted to find some of that order, um, we might have a criminal trespass. Okay, so just hang tight. Watch your back. I don't want to see you get like that. I, I understand what you're trying to do, and I can appreciate that. Okay, um, but I, you, you obviously got to understand at the end of the day, I got to do my job too. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so what I would ask, all right, to make sure that this isn't like a prowling or a federal offense, like I told you, I gotta document this, mm -hmm. okay? And if you're doing nothing wrong, then great, okay? Um, would you be able to give me your name so I can just properly document this that way? If you're doing nothing wrong, it'll reflect that. Like I said, I, I'm trying to wrap my head around all this as well. Right. Um, and if you, if you, like they said, you were on, you were on, um, uh, easement. Yes. Well, no, you were off the easement, so you're good. Well, I was on the public easement. You were on, yes, you were on the public easement. Correct. You're not on their property. So we're good there. I just, they're trying to figure out if there's a like federal law or something like that that's going on. So, obviously, as long as you stay on the public property, yep. you're fine. As we approach the end of this video, I just wanted to say, if you've enjoyed the thrills and chills, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more hair-raising content. Remember to leave a comment, share with your friends, and hit that like button to help spread the fear.